Welcome to a rescue tutorial on iOS screen sharing. To initiate a session on an iOS device, the end user will need to launch the Rescue Plus mobile app on their device. This can be downloaded from the App Store. The technician will then generate a six-digit PIN code for the user. This can be provided verbally or sent via SMS or email. On the device, the user will need to grant permissions and then enter the six-digit PIN code. After the PIN code has been entered, users will select which session type they'd like to engage in. A broadcast session allows the technician to view the device screen in real time. A chat session allows technicians to see system information and push settings. For this tutorial, we'll walk through how to run a broadcast session for screen sharing. Once the user selects broadcast, there will be a series of steps they'll need to take to enable screen sharing. There is a tutorial within the app to guide the user, but let's run through it right now as well. First, the user will need to add screen recording to their control center. To do that, the user will need to exit the Rescue Plus mobile app and open their Settings application. Within Settings, click on Control Center and then tap Customize Controls. On the Customize Controls page, users need to click the green plus sign next to Screen Recording. This will include it in their Control Center. Next, the user will need to turn on Screen Recording. To do this, the user will need to swipe up on their device screen bringing up the control center panel. Users will then need to 3D touch or hard push with their fingertip on this screen recording icon and then select Log Me and Rescue from that list. The device will count down and broadcasting will begin. After the broadcasting has started, the session will move into the waiting status in the Rescue Technician's console queue. Once a technician starts that session, screen sharing of the iOS device will begin. Users can now navigate through their phone, allowing the technician to view their screens and actions in real time to help troubleshoot problems or guide users through the device. To stop the live stream, users can simply click on the red toolbar at the top of their screen and select Stop Recording. Please note, even if a technician ends the session from his or her technician console, the end user still needs to stop the recording from his or her device. Ready to get started? Try it out today. For more information, visit the Rescue Support site or reach out to log me in customer care.